This scene from Sabrina really encapsulates a positive attitude towards business. Here we see a businessman who's working not because of his love of money or power, but because of his love of creating value for society. If making money were all there was to business, it's hard to be worthwhile going to the office. Money is a byproduct. Well, what's the main objective? Power? Ah, that's become a dirty word. Well, then what's the urge? You're going into plastics now. What will that prove? Prove? Nothing much. A new product has been found, something of use to the world. So a new industry moves into an undeveloped area. Factories go up, machines are brought in, a harbor is dug and you're in business. It's purely coincidental, of course, that people who never saw a dime before suddenly have a dollar. And barefooted kids wear shoes and have their teeth fixed and their faces washed. What's wrong with the kind of an urge that gives people libraries, hospitals, baseball diamonds, and uh, movies on a Saturday night? Howard Rourke is a classic example of an architect, but also a business entrepreneur who wants to provide new value and new ideas to society. If you want my work, you must take it as it is or not at all. But why? A building has integrity, just like a man, and just as seldom. It must be true to its own idea, have its own form, and, and serve its own purpose. But we can't depart from the popular forms of architecture. Why not? Because everybody's accepted them. I haven't. Do you wish to defy our common standards? I set my own standards. Well, do you intend to fight against the whole world? If necessary. But after all, we are your clients, and it's your job to serve us. I don't build in order to have clients. I have clients in order to build. In Cash McCall, while it might seem that James Gardner is just interested in taking over these companies and selling them, at the end it's revealed that all along he's been creating win-win relationships that allow this company to build and flourish when it seemed like it was dead. I have a lot of respect for my money and even more respect for my friends and I won't have either of them abused. What can you do? I'm going to fight you in your lawsuit and win. My friends will come out with some handsome scars, but there'll be no dirt on them. Well, thinking only of your friend sounds pretty pious. Well, it's true that I do have five million dollars tied up in it. But there are a lot of people depending on me. The same people that you didn't think about when you took your two million dollars and ran. The people who made up your business, the personnel at the factory, the town the factory supported. 